Hi there. Now for this question, we're told that a woman travels in a lift. The mass of the woman is 50 kilograms and the mass of the lift is 950 kilograms. The lift is being raised vertically by a vertical cable which is attached to the top of the lift. The lift is moving upwards and has a constant deceleration of 2 meters per second per second. By modeling the cable as being light and in inextensible, we've got to find in the first part of the question the tension in the cable for 3 marks and then go on in part B to find the magnitude of the force exerted on the woman by the floor of the lift for 3 marks. So if you'd like to give this a try, haven't done so already, just give you a moment then to pause the video. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. Well, first of all, let me just give you the numerical answers so you can just check them. For part A, it was 7,800 newtons for the tension in the cable. And then for the magnitude of the force exerted on the woman by the floor of the lift, it was 390 newtons. Now if you didn't get these or just want to see how I went about working this out, I'll take you through my work solution. Now to do something like this, what I'd want to do is draw a sketch. And when you've got problems with lifts, what I tend to do is just draw a rectangle or square here to denote the lift you're going to have a cable attached to the top of the lift and then you've got the object inside the lift and uh, I'm just going to draw a block something like that okay now what are the forces on the lift well you've got the tension upwards okay so whether the lift is moving up or down generally you just put the tension there going upwards and we'll call it T Newtons now you've got the mass of the lift, which was 950 kilograms, and also you've got the mass of the woman, 50 kilograms. So you've got a total mass then of 1,000 kilograms. So the weight then acting down, the combined weight, is going to be 1,000 G newtons, okay? Now the other thing we need to mark on is the acceleration. We're told that the lift is moving upwards. And there's two ways that you could put the acceleration on. I'm going to do it like this, okay? It's moving upwards, but it's decelerating, so I would know that the acceleration was minus two meters per second per second in an upward sense. However, you might want to put the acceleration going in this direction. OK, and if that's the case, this will be two meters per second per second. I prefer this way, though, OK, but I'll leave it up to you. Now, when it comes to part A, I'm going to resolve in the upward sense, taking upwards as being the positive direction, and I'm applying Newton's second law, Newton's law of motion, force equals mass times acceleration. So what is that resultant force acting on the lift in the upward sense? Well, I've got all of T acting upwards. Then I've got the weight of the lift and the woman acting downwards. So that's going to be in the negative sense. So I need to subtract 1000 G. So this is my resultant force, and this is equal to the mass multiplied by the acceleration. Well, the mass is a total of 1,000 kilograms, so I put 1,000 there, and the acceleration, well, that's going to be negative 2 because it is decelerating. So I've got my minus 2 in here, but if I was taking this um, notation, then because this is acting downwards in the opposite sense here, I would still have to write this as minus 2. So I hope you're okay with that then. So to find the tension T in the cable, all we have to do is just add 1000 G to both sides. So T equals 1000 G minus the 2000 here. 
Now if you take g to be 9.8, then you'll find that therefore t turns out to be 7,800, and that'll be measured in Newtons. Okay, well, for part b next, we've got to calculate the magnitude of the force exerted on the woman by the floor of the lift. Now for this, what I'd want to do is draw the woman, but I'm just treating that as a block here, okay? And what would be the forces acting on that woman? Well, there'd be her weight. So her mass was 50 kilograms, so her weight would act downwards, so that would be 50 G Newtons. There'll be a reaction on the floor. Let's just put the floor in here. Okay, there'll be a reaction and that'll be upwards. So we'll call that R Newtons. And remember the acceleration in the upward sense was minus two meters per second per second. Or you could do an arrow downwards and just write two meters per second per second. So again, for this one, if we're to find R, all we've got to do is resolve in the direction of motion, which is upwards. And if we do that, we're looking at the resultant force on the woman. So that's going to be R minus 50 G. And that's equal to the mass times the acceleration. The mass of the woman is 50 kilograms and the acceleration is minus two. So if I add 50 G to both sides, we then end up with R equals 50 G. And here we've got minus 100. Okay, taking G again to be 9.8, you end up with R equaling 390 Newtons. All right.